It's been nearly a week now of daily protest and deadly violence in Afghanistan after U.S. troops burned some Qurans. I'd be less than honest if I didn't say that things are tense here in Kabul. They certainly are. Um, but uh, I will tell you that it's getting calmer here. Calmer now after the Muslim American community says years of frustration at a foreign military presence boiled over. The burning of the Qurans was just a, a, a spark that kind of lit the flames of this particular crisis. A suicide car bombing at an Afghan airport Monday extended the violence, which had already killed several U.S. troops, including two officers shot in the head inside the Afghan Interior Ministry. Now is how we show the Afghan... The top NATO commander in Afghanistan responded by pulling advisors out of other ministries, a blow to U.S. plans to end the war by mentoring Afghanistan. Afghan partners. The slope is going to be a little steeper um, and uh, I think both sides will be even more eager to try to complete the, the transition to an Afghan-led process and a much diminished uh, Western presence, at least on the current schedule. A schedule that calls for all U.S. forces to leave by the end of 2014. Both the Pentagon and White House say the violence won't speed that up. Secretary Panetta and Chairman Dempsey are fully committed to our strategy in Afghanistan. And that strategy is very much uh, remains the right one and remains uh, in place and one that we will continue to implement. But how can the training continue if U.S. forces fear the Afghans will turn on them? The White House insists these incidents are isolated. We're talking about thousands and thousands of operations uh, that proceed successfully with Afghan partners without anything like this happening. Still, no one denies the deadly violence has hurt trust between the two nations, raising new questions about a long war many Americans say they can't wait to see end. Sagar Magani, Associated Press, Washington.